So let's take a look at our bias frames. So we have 100 bias frames. I'm just going to load one up. So it doesn't look like anything. It's linear. It's unstretched. So if we just stretch it, that's what it looks like. So we want to make all of 100 of these into one single master. So what we're going to do, we're going to use image integration to stack these images together. I'm going to start by adding the files. Uh, bias, select them all. We can open them. So it's loaded our, our frames. We're going to use a combination of average, no normalization. We don't care about weighting. We're going to keep evaluate noise on because obviously that's what we want to do. Now rejection algorithm, it depends on how many frames you're actually wanting to stack. 10 to 20 use Windsorized Sigma clipping here. 20 plus linear fit. So that's what we're going to do. So now we can just apply this and let it run. So now it's uh, just going to go through the files. Hmm. Didn't really think of how long this may take <laughs> because there is a hundred of them. Um, yeah. So we're just going to let this run. I will probably edit this out of the video. Okay, so it's finished, finally. So we can just minimize that. We can just take a look at these. These are just rejection algorithms, which we're see high rejection, low rejection, which we, and our new frame. So let's boost it. Okay, so you can see the difference here. You can just about make out the lines in this image but a hundred of them combined reduces this, which is now our master bias frame. So the, the bias signal, if I zoom in, is a lot more apparent here, which is good, which is what we want. Now, an extra step, uh, if you're not using PixInsight to create masters like this way, then this will be the end and this will be your master. But for PixInsight users, um, we use a process called super bias, which uses more uh, median transform on this. We have drop it to six because we have a hundred, and this will create a new image which is the same as having a thousand bias frames. So if we just run that, uh, you see the uh, stack took five minutes and thirty-five seconds. Okay, so there is now our super bias. Uh, 24 bit. There you go. See, it's a lot more defined, a lot clearer than this. Okay, so we can close that one. Close that one. And this is our now master bias frame. So this uh, identifies what is super bias, so I can just leave it at that. And what I'll do is I will just save it. Save it in the main folder as super bias and save it. Okay. Now we're done. So now next step, create our darks. 